Hi, my name is Stephanie Ralston and I'm currently a teacher at the McRobertson Girls High School in the city. At McRob, I'm lucky enough to teach Year 9 English, a Year 10 Literature elective, a Year 10 Linguistics elective, Year 11 Literature, Year 11 Legal Studies and Year 12 English Language. So I get the joy of teaching all of the Englishes across VCE and middle school. I graduated from Monash in 2017 with a double degree of Arts and Secondary Education with Honours. Being a teacher is absolutely incredible. There is nothing in the world that compares to that feeling you get when you walk into a classroom on a Monday morning and you see a group of 25 faces looking up at you, some smiling, some not, but all are in your classroom and you have the potential to change their lives and to make learning fun for them. I think the one thing that I think about in my first and second year of teaching that uni never really told me was just how fun teaching was going to be. And I am incredibly lucky that as a teacher, I get to wake up every morning, go into a classroom and challenge students, push student understanding and create environments where kids get to push their own limits, challenge their own assumptions and continue to develop into wonderful human beings. As a classroom teacher, my day normally starts at school at about 7.45 in the morning. And if I don't have a meeting, I normally leave school at about 3.45 in the afternoon. If I've got a meeting, normally I leave around 4.30. This year, though, I'm lucky enough to be a debating coordinator. So on top of my load as a classroom teacher, I normally spend one or two lunch times a week with my group of student leaders for debating and public speaking, talking about different school events. And every couple of weeks on a Wednesday afternoon, I head off with our group of keen debaters to a different competition. Sometimes we also attend events on the weekend and it's really great for students to have those opportunities to extend their learning outside of school hours. As a graduate, I think one of the biggest challenges that I faced was knowing when to keep pushing and keep pushing myself to work on schoolwork and when to embrace the self-care that I was telling my students to focus on. As a teacher, there is always something that you can be working on. There's always a lesson to plan. There's always an essay to mark. There is always something that you could be doing to enhance the learning in your classroom. And a big thing I found for myself as a graduate, but also the other grads that I talk about, is that we are often very quick to burn out. And it's so important as a teacher, but especially as a graduate, to make sure that you are setting clear boundaries about when you will and when you won't work on schoolwork at home. So that when you are in the classroom, you are the most refreshed, energised, excited version of yourself. And that you do have those spaces at home to relax and de-stress. I think that my most rewarding moment as a teacher so far happened in my Year 11 literature class last year. We were studying a unit on post-colonialism and racism in Australia and my class of very multicultural, very diverse students did some really excellent work analysing colonial narratives in lots of different texts set in Australia but also set in lots of different countries. The final assessment task for that unit was a personal reflective essay and when I spoke to the students after they'd written the essay they said that it, they felt like it was one of the first times their education had recognised their lived experience and it's so important for students to have those moments. It was so important for my students to feel like there was a moment where I saw them as more than just a student, but as a human being who has these incredible stories to tell and things to share about, the things that have happened in their lives and the things that as a young adult and a young leader, they're going to change into the future. I've also had some really rewarding moments with my students in year nine, because in year nine, when students start at McRobb, it's their first day at a new school and they're kind of all hunched over and really shy and they spend a lot of time looking down at their desks. But after a couple of weeks, when they get more confident, you really get to see the students start to come out of their shells and start to share their kind of crazy, outlandish, ridiculous ideas and all of the wonderful parts of their personality that you really only get to see in classrooms where students feel really comfortable. Sometimes you have these kind of lofty ideas that you'll walk into a classroom, the students will all stand on the chairs and there'll be an, oh, captain, my captain moment in the first couple of weeks. But those teaching placements are really important because your first couple give you a chance to observe some really excellent teaching and to ask critical questions of your mentor about how their practice in the classroom matches with the theories that you've been learning about in school. With the second lot of placements where you actually get to teach, 
I wish that I had known exactly how much I was going to fall in love with teaching and how sad it would make me to leave my students at the end of the six week and the 10 week blocks because I didn't expect to become as emotionally invested in the students that I was working with and the classes that I was working with as I did. So my top three tips would be, number one, find a subject that you are passionate about and learn as much as you possibly can. Good teachers have a great content knowledge and they are able to draw information from a range of sources when they're teaching in the classroom. My second tip would be learn all you can about teaching by observing and speaking to as many teachers as you possibly can. You will learn so much from your placements and from the professionals at Monash, watching the way that they teach, watching the way that they present content, and also from talking with them about the pedagogy behind the way that they approach teaching. My third tip would be remember to have fun. Teaching can be an incredibly rewarding profession, but it can also be an extremely challenging one. It's important to remember that when you're on placement, but also when you're out as real teachers. Make sure that you value yourself and that you follow the advice that you give your students. Do teaching, just do it. <laughs>